What's up guys? Welcome to episode 2 of the Turn in Place add-on series. In the last episode we set up the calculations for Turn in Place. Now we need to add our function into our code and start getting our anim graph set up and add the animations. Hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell so that you can be notified when the next episode is released. The community discord link is in the video description. You can ask questions and get help with any issues there. Without further ado, let's get into it. So first thing we're going to do is open up our animation blueprints. So third person blueprints, animation blueprint. Um, we should our turn in place functions where we left off. So we got all of our calculations set up. So now we need to go back to our event graph where we set the sequence up. Go ahead and drag this turn in place function in and we're going to connect that to the then two and then we're going to take uh, from our character reference and drag to our character reference pin and we can compile and save that now let's go into our anim graph we can close this other extra stuff out so let's open up our anim graph um, first thing we want to do is get our root yaw offset. So let's go ahead and get our root yaw offset, and we're going to right click and we're gonna get root rotate root bone. Um, go ahead and click on this. We're going to adjust this a little bit. So our pitch we don't need. So we're going to click on the exposed pin that's going to uncheck that it's going to get rid of that pin and then also the mesh to component we don't need but we'll need to scroll down to get that one that one's going to be here get rid of those connect our root yaw offset to that we're just going to move this back we're going to need some space here i'm going to go ahead and get rid of this no debug stuff This in here, and then this in here, and then we also need to uh, clamp the result. And then, if we go down, our interp speed let's change that to 20 our increase and our decrease I believe that is it yeah so you go ahead and compile and save that and then we're going to go into our locomotion yeah, we're going to go into our locomotion we're going to go ahead and we're going to disconnect this Copy this. Make sure we're in the right place here. So yeah, locomotion, locomotion. We're gonna add a state machine. We're gonna rename that to idle without turn. Go ahead and open that up. And we're just going to take that blend space. So you can just take your blend space. And drag that in. You don't really need to worry about renaming it. And then just drag your arrow to it. Reconnect your side input and your forward input. File and save that and go back twice duplicate the state machine so click on it control D F2 and then we're going to rename this idle with turn. Uh, 
All right, and then we're going to right click, search for layered, layer blend or bone. this to our output we can go ahead and delete this now we're not going to need that there um, and then our width turn we want to connect to the base and our without turn we want to connect to blend pose zero <clears throat> compile and save that Okay, and then with our width turn, let's go ahead and open that up. So this is where we're gonna actually add our turn animations in. Go over in your asset browser, just type in turn, don't hit enter or it's gonna open an animation, just type turn. And then we're gonna drag in idle left turn, idle turn, turn right, Come up right and left. We're gonna need arrow two, Arrow back, two, arrow back. And then you can go ahead and compile that. Don't worry about the errors. And then we're gonna start with our transition on the right. So going from idle into the right turn, double click that. We're gonna get our forward input and then we're gonna get an equal. And then we wanna add an end Boolean. Go ahead and connect this to the can enter transition result. Now we're gonna go ahead and add another pin. We wanna get our root yaw offset. Gonna be a less than. And then we also want to get our max turn in place angle. Then we want to multiply this. Wanna set this to negative one point zero. those and we're going to connect this to the anvil and then we need to get is falling and then off of that we need a not bull not boolean and we're going to plug that into the end so if our forward input is equal to zero and our root offset is less than our max turn in place angle, which since we're turning right, we're gonna do negative one. And then we are not falling. So we're not in the air. Obviously we don't wanna turn in place if we're in the air. Go ahead and compile that. Go ahead and back out. Actually go back in that, we're gonna copy this whole thing back out and then we're going to go from our idle to our left turn paste this get rid of this get rid of this and then we're going to do a less than sorry greater than here now we want to check if our root yaw input is greater than our max turn in place angle for the left side. Connect that to the end. And then we need to connect this to the and enter result. Should be seeing your idle animation. 
Okay, now we can do the uh, transitions to return to idle. So we'll start on our right side, going from our turn back into idle. Go ahead and double click on that. And right click and we're gonna search for remaining. And it should pop up time remaining ratio. Idle turn right. And get that. We're gonna do a less than off of this. 0 0.1. Move this back a little. We're gonna do an or boolean. And we're gonna add two more pins to this. Go ahead and connect this to our result. Need to get our forward input. And get the root yaw offset. Both of these we're gonna do a greater than off of. Make one, you can just duplicate that. And then we're just gonna connect those to the orbital. And then we also need to get um, is falling. is correct um i i was questioning the is falling but if you are falling you do want to come out of the turn animation so we are okay there um and then we can just click on this enter transition down here and the compiler results that'll take us to the other one and now we're going to do the left side so we're going to click again and remaining we get the time remaining ratio for the left turn basically going to do the same thing here less than 0 0.1 for the value or connect that to your results add two pins it is falling go ahead and connect that and then we want our forward input and then our root yaw offset. Forward input is going to be greater than. Root yaw offset is going to be less than. Same thing. Go ahead and connect those. Your or boolean. And you can compile and save that. Okay, and then we need to go back to our locomotion state, so you can close those out. So back to our anim graph, go into our locomotion, locomotion state. Now we should have an idle with turn and idle without turn with our layer blend per bone. We're gonna right click this blend weights. We're gonna promote that to a variable. We're gonna name this turn blend weight. And then we're actually gonna disconnect that. And we need to get our forward input and our side input. We need to do a greater than from each one of these. So greater than and then duplicate. Both the values are gonna be zero. go to an or boolean and then from that or boolean we're going to go into a select make sure it's the one with the fork 
So we have true or false. Our turn blend weight is going to be connected to our false. And then our true value is going to be set to zero. And then we're going to take this. that back and we're going to connect that to our blend weight so basically what we're doing here is if our forward input or our side input is greater than zero then we're not going to use the blend per bone so if that's true then we're not going to use the plan the blend per bone that's false then we are going to use the turn blend weight from the blend per bone and it's going to allow us to turn so you can compile and save that and let's go ahead and check that out and now we should be turning and we're Still not quite done. Um, we're gonna finish off here on this episode. And basically next episode, we're gonna go in um, like this little jerkiness stuff here and stuff. We're gonna get that all kind of cleaned up and um, just do a little debugging, just make it look a little bit smoother. Uh, but other than that, yeah, now we're, we're set up. Our turn in place animation is is working looks like the turn to left a little bit of an issue yeah it's basically on the angle i think a lot of that is the uh the way that the animations are um like i said in the previous videos these are uh definitely prototype animations they're not meant for your final product so if you're using better animations, you may have to adjust some things on your own personal animations. Um, but the calculations and stuff are all set up, our anim graph set up. Um, in the next episode, we're going to work on um, our aim offset for our character so that as we start to turn, um, our character actually turns a little bit. And that'll clean some of this stuff up as well. Um, so we'll do the aim offset and we'll do some little bit of debugging, just kind of fix things up a little bit. And then that should wrap up the uh, turn in place mini add on series in the next episode. Uh, I appreciate the support. Hit that like and subscribe for me if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.